Bidashagor came to Karmathar in 1873. A great man, but lonely man, like a tragic hero in the Santal village of Karmathar. He has forsaken the capital city of Calcutta, where his greatness was achieved. He lives alone here among the rustics who love him. He had set up a school which is called Nondon Kanon. He found immense peace among the Santals. Shagor opened a free homeopathy clinic to provide some medical care to the tribal people. He loved the simple Santals and began serving them more and more. He was in the city surrounded by admiring people. A short and gaunt man with a determined mouth line, strong willed and resolute, who would leave no work half finished, brook no obstacles. We have remembered him in our own way as we should remember a great man. Ishachandra Bidashagor was born on 26th of September 1820 in Birshingo village. His real name is Ishachandra Bandopadhyay. In November 1828, Ishachandru came to Calcutta with his father to do higher studies. On the way to Calcutta by a walk, he saw English numbers on the milestones along the way and mastered them easily. He was admitted to the third class of grammar in the Sanskrit college, which was established in 1824. 1830, he was admitted to the English class. After three years, he entered the poetry class at the age of 12. He became a Sanskrit scholar. He passed the examination which was conducted by the Hindu Law Committee. He received the title Vidashagur, the Ocean of Knowledge, from the Law Committee on 16th of May 1839. As the principal of Sanskrit College, 
he made many important reforms. He opened the doors of Sanskrit College to people of all castes. And what a life it was. He worked as a teacher at Fort William College, where he taught Bengali to young Englishmen who would be civilians of the Indian Empire. Then he became the assistant secretary of Sanskrit College. Eventually to become a teacher and finally the principal of this college. Bidda Shagur became a trusted advisor of the Government of India on educational matters. And almost the right hand of Devendranath Tagore, the Brahmo leader, in editing the journal Tattu Bodhini, the most respected journal of that time. While at the college as a teacher and then the principal, he would do several things simultaneously. He would write books in chaste and stylish Bengali prose for which the poet Tega would later call him the creator of artistic Bengali prose. Bidda Shagor set up a printing press called Sanskrit Jantra that he started with his friend Madan Mohan Tarkalankar. He was writing the best and most popular primers of the century for Bengali children in which he was teaching language and morals at the same time. Bidda Shagor also translated from English, Hindi and Sanskrit and wrote a manual of Sanskrit grammar in Bengali. He introduced English as a subject of study and suggested reforms in the syllabus. A Brahmin himself but scientific temperament was his hallmark. Dr. Mohindralal Shorkar came up with Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science on 29th of July 1876. Bidda Shagor donated rupees thousand to this esteemed institution. His activism was best and most human in his movement for widow remarriage. The injustice and oppression towards Hindu widows deeply hurted him. In January 1855, his book about widowhood was published. He sent a petition to the government to legalize widow remarriage. July 1856, widow marriage became 
legalized. He organized many widow weddings. Vidya Shagur was the most important person for spreading women's education in Bengal. He and his friend John Drinkwater Bethun started the Hindu girls school named Bethun School in Calcutta. The first Indian girls school in India. Bidda Shagur was the secretary of the school. In 1879, the school was renamed Bethun College. Bidda Shagur was appointed by the government as an inspector for schools. He himself had a school in Calcutta called Metropolitan Institution. was later added a college also called Metropolitan now renamed Bidda Shagur College. He established many schools throughout South Bengal. He started a publication Sanskrit Press Depository, a Hindu family annuity fund and insurance company. And he was earning money from selling textbooks and various other sources, including official responsibilities. He became an examiner of Calcutta University, a member of its Senate, a teacher at the Calcutta Medical College. He received the title CIE from the government. Anybody coming to him for help would not go back disappointed. Michael Modushudan Dotto, then the most celebrated poet in Bengal, looked for Vidya Sagar's help when he was studying barristership in Europe, and the later sent him money in thousands. This earned him the name Doya Shagur, the Ocean of Compassion. Many took money from him, promising marriage of widows, but didn't do it. He was hurt by many such unfulfilled promises of educated Bengalis. His father Thakur Dash Bandopadhyay died in Kashi. In 1875, Bidda Shagur built a house at Badur Bagan in Calcutta. At present, the road adjoining this house is known as Bidda Shagur Street. On 5th of August 1882, Ramakrishna Paramhansa came to his house in Badur Bagan. A historic conversation took place between the two.
Vidyashagor had a lot of respect for his parents. He never believed in the traditional god system where people just worship gods. He thought that his parents were living gods. Especially he was very affectionate towards his mother. His mother Bhagavati Devi died due to cholera at Kashi. In 1888, Bidashago's wife Dinamoy Devi died. He was a patriot but was not the slogan shouting kind. His patriotism was in his upright behavior towards the British authorities. Bidashago visited the governor's house in his dhoti and chadar which was his style. His dress was a symbol of patriotism. Like Gandhi ji, he never wanted to look different from his poor countrymen. I am not a blind slave of local practices. I am determined to do what I think will be proper or necessary for the good of myself or my society. Finally, the inevitable came on 26th of July, 1891. A short, lean man, his body was taken to the Ganges for the ritual on Turjuli. A great man, a glorious man, Ishachandra Bidashagur. An honest and unusual man, even a hundred epithets cannot measure him up properly. Om Madhu Vataritayate Om Madhu Mat Parthibang Rajah Mathvirna Santoshadhi Madhu Nakta Mutosasah Madhu Daurastuna Pita Madhu Man Vanaspatihi Madhumanastu Surya Madhrika Ovantunaha A few comments on Bidashagur. You are not an ocean of ignorance. You are, instead, the ocean of knowledge. You are an ocean of creamed milk. Sri Ramakrishna You are the ocean of knowledge. The whole world knows you as one, but the poor knows you as a friend, as an ocean of compassion. Michael Madhusudan Dotto. His major contribution is the literary prose of Bengali and it is not compassion or knowledge but the most glorious trait of his character is his indomitable courage, his immeasurable human qualities. Rabindranath Tagore.
still, we may end with the question which we will not answer. Have we done enough for this great man, who was, in so many ways, quite unlike others? The question, after 200 years of his birth, still awaits an answer.